Hello, welcome to the Apex Network's training for the RMS system. This is part of our online training program developed by Apex Networks to assist you in getting the very most from your software. This short video will cover roles and permissions. We recommend you play this video on a separate device from that you are setting your system up on. This will allow you to pause, rewind and keep pace of your progress without having to switch screens. Roles and permissions relate specifically to system users. This will dictate what applications the system user can access and at which level. It may be useful to look at the Roles and Permissions section before setting up your system users. To access Roles and Permissions, click on the Menu button at the top left-hand corner of your screen and select Settings. Click on the icon marked Roles and Permissions. Once opened, you can see the six main applications of Apex RMS, followed by a brief description. After this, there is a button on each line marked Manage Roles. When you click on Manage Roles, it will open a list of the different roles for this particular application, along with a brief role description. There are User Admin, Finance Admin, Administrator, Notice Board Manager and Driver Manager. Here you have a brief description of what each can do. In the bottom right hand corner of this window, you will notice a button marked Back. If you click on this and then click on the button marked Set Permissions, you will see what each of the roles that we have previously looked at has permission to do. As you can see, there are varying levels of permission and you will need to select which level of permission you give each system user before applying that application to their profile. Best practice is to give each system user the basic level of access they need. If they need their permission level increased, this can easily be done. It's easier to increase their access levels than to remove permissions should you need to. The Roles and Permissions section of Apex RMS is fully customizable. So if you find that one permission level doesn't give quite enough access, but the next level up gives a little more access than you need, you can either edit any of these existing roles or create a new one. This is done by simply clicking Back, then click Manage Roles. Put in your description here and it can be anything that you want to enter. Click on Insert. This entry now has its own role name. When we go back into Set Permissions, you will see your new role, Senior Manager, is here. Simply click on the boxes that you require the Senior Manager to have access to, and this will be saved in the system. Now, when you apply the role level of Senior Manager to your system user, they will only be able to access the areas that you have ticked on here.